Zeljava Air Base, Europe's largest abandoned underground military air base. In the decade between 1991 and 2001, the Yugoslav state had undergone several ethnic wars resulting in the breakup of the state. During that time, an underground airbase known as the Zeljava Air Base was used for aerial support. The airbase was constructed for almost $6 billion and was considered the most expensive project in Europe, only to be destroyed deliberately to prevent the enemy from using it. It has tunnels large enough to house squadrons of aircraft along with personnel and supplies for over a month. Now it's the largest abandoned military airbase in Europe, and here's more information about it. Located on the border between Croatia and Bosnia-Herzegovina, under Plesevica Mountain, the Zeljava Air Base was the largest underground military airbase in the former Yugoslavia, and also one of the largest in Europe. Construction of the airbase, also known as Bihak Air Base and codenamed Objekat 505, began in 1948 and finished in 1968. It cost approximately a whopping $6 billion, three times the annual military budgets of Serbia and Croatia combined. It was one of the most expensive construction projects in Europe. The function of the airbase was to facilitate a nationwide early warning radar network in the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia SFRY. Its radar on Mount Plesevica, located at the center of an advanced air defense network, covered the airspace and territory of Yugoslavia and more. It had five runways, numerous short-range mobile tracking and targeting radars, missile sites, mobile missile interceptor systems, motorized infantry bases, two fighter jets always on alert, military police stations and even a hunting lodge for civilian or military leaders to use during leisure. Though the access points were heavily guarded with orders to kill any trespasser, in practice they were just turned away. The base is so secure that it could withstand a direct hit from a 20 kiloton nuclear bomb similar to the one that was dropped on Nagasaki. The airbase has underground tunnels which house two fighter aviation squadrons equipped with MiG-21 fighter aircraft, one reconnaissance squadron with MiG-21R aircraft, and all the maintenance facility required for them. The tunnels are a total of 3.5 kilometers long with four entrances protected by 100-ton pressurized doors. They were lined with semicircular concrete shields to cushion the impact of any bombs. The squadron is also equipped with water supply, power generators, crew quarters, and strategic military facilities. There was also a mess hall that could feed 1,000 people at once, along with enough food, fuel, supplied by 20-kilometer underground pipe network, and weapons to last 30 days. The airbase was used extensively in 1991 during the Yugoslavian Wars. The runways were later destroyed by the Yugoslavian People's Army. And the facility was completely destroyed by the military of Serbian Krajina in 1992 to prevent opposing forces from using it. The Yugoslavian People's Army, during its withdrawal, placed explosives in pre-built spaces which were explicitly designed for the purpose of destroying the runways. The military of Serbian Krajina used 56 tons of explosives to destroy the facility. The explosion was so powerful that it shook Behak, a nearby city, and according to the villagers, the smoke rose from the site for six months. It also caused considerable damage to the surrounding environment. There were several attempts at reconstructing the facility, but all were canceled due to financial limitations. An asylum for migrants was scheduled to open in 2004 or 2005, but the idea was eventually dropped. It was also to be developed to become part of the Slunj military training grounds and the barracks of the Udbina complex, but these plans were also abandoned because of an agreement forbidding any military facility closer than 15 kilometers on the border between Croatia and Bosnia-Herzegovina.